This morning's coffee with us with Ken Jiang. And the satellite interview is furnished by Lionsgate. Wow, Ken, awesome to have you on WJZ in the morning edition. How are you? Fine. Thanks for having me. You know. <laughs> sit down, please. Sit down. <laughs> what a house. What a house. <laughs> hey, did you have fun doing Norm in the North? We had Rob on the other day, and he said this was just a kick. Your thoughts? Oh, it was great. I mean, it's, it's such a. I mean, what I love about it is the message, you know, it's just, it basically is just a reminder for all of us to be aware of the environment and all, and the climate change and all things that, that that's going on and to play kind of the heavy in, in, in the, in the movie is, is great because it really just kind of hammers that message home. Which character do you voice in the movie Norm of the North? Uh, Mr. Green, uh, I kind of represent big business that wants to wipe out the Arctic and put up condos and stuff like that, and you're basically displacing all the wildlife there. So, you know, it it it's, um, it just sends out a a great message by that by playing so the heavy. Cute. You know, it's I'm it's still sure kind of a part of the message that I'm you know definitely you know uh, definitely in favor of in terms of just just being very careful about the environment. You know, uh, you're 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 well known for. Uh, would you say would live action movie, I guess, as opposed to animated? My, my point is, you have to come up with, did you have to come up with a voice? Did they want you just to use your voice? What was the direction on forming your character? That's a great question because in any animated film, usually the first session is the most fun and creative. And with the director and the producers, you usually get like a like a sketch of your character, and you know you've already read the script, so you just kind of you know really go over the tone of the story and the tone of the character. So um, you basically workshop you know some ideas. So I. I find it best to kind of go in there with a really open mind. You might have a couple ideas of how you want to play the character, but it organically, almost invariably, will change into, you know, what's best for the movie. So, it, you know, I, I, I tend to keep an open mind. I mean, no thoughts in this noggin, none at all. There you go. You play the villain in this. You were the villain in The Hangover. You're villainous on Community. This is something you're drawn to. Oh, absolutely. I love, I love. I love playing the bad guy because I think it's more, it, it's more fun to play the villain. You know, it, it really is. So, um, and even even on certain movies that were, or like my own show, like Dr. Ken, where I'm playing the protagonist. You know, I like bringing elements of of edge into it. So yeah, like in Ride Along too, I like bringing elements of edge, even if you're playing quote unquote the good guy. You know, <laughs> so. Yeah, but that's but you know what? That's a that's that's a. You play golf? Let me ask you a question. Do you play golf? No, I don't. I, no. I was going to say, but what you're doing is, I was going to relate it to golf. That's a real specialty shot, and one that there's, it's, it's like, a, it's like, yep. it's like using a lob wedge. You're either going to make it or you're not, and there is no in between. What a great niche you formed for yourself, and perfectly done. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just so grateful to have any niche in, in this business. So I mean, for me, it is really the, it all started with the hangover, and it just gave me, it just gave me a career. Yeah. Cool. Hey, listen, our time's run short. Norm of the North. Dr. Ken, thank you so much for being with us, bud. I hope, I hope you have as, as good a time on your next project as you clearly did on this one. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. See you, brother. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ken. All right. Bye. All right. Well,